What's going on everybody? This is the IT Ranger and today we'll be doing our fifth tutorial in Java. Alright, so last tutorial, um, oh and I also have an announcement to make. Um, in a couple weeks I'll be having um, some new videos of, I'll be starting a series of Android development and um, also I'll be doing CSENT and CCNA tutorials and uh, with Packet Tracer and all that good stuff. So um, don't forget to subscribe and you know get notified every time I have a video that comes up because in the next few weeks I'll be having a bunch so uh, let's go ahead and get started so today we're going to be actually um, using the GUI as we learned in the last tutorial we're going to be using the GUI to actually add a background to it and we're going to learn how to do that today in today's tutorial so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and make a new project so let's do file new and we're going to do new Java project alright so there we go. We have a new Java project, and let's type in. Let's call this GUI window. All right, GUI window. Well, let's call it GUI color because I already have something existing that. So let's call it GUI color. All right. So let's go ahead and finish. And all right, there we go. So next thing is let's go ahead and make our class new class, and here we are. So let's go ahead and. Let's call our class GUI GUI color. GUI color. Alright. And we have our class name. And let's go ahead and check public every void, main argument, and uncheck inherited abstract methods. And finish. Alright. So here we go. So um get rid of that. And so as we did in my last tutorial, we imported uh we imported something called the Java Swing or Java X Swing. And what Java X Swing is, as I stated in my last tutorials, is actually the class that holds the JFrame and the panel. So let's go ahead and import Java Swing period asterisk. And what that does is the period asterisk that actually allows um, the whole class to actually be imported into the into the program versus having to do import swing, import swing this, import swing that, import swing this. We basically have everything imported in one statement. All right. The next thing um, we're going to be doing something new. We've got to import something called import Java dot awt. And what this is is this is actually the this is actually the class that holds the color and the containers, and it actually holds a grid layout too, which we're not going to use today. We're actually going to be using the color and the container. So and we have both our classes we need, so let's go ahead and start with our the meat of the program. So let's do um, as we did in my last tutorial, uh, J frame. And if you're not familiar with this, uh, check out my la my last tutorial, and it should get you caught up on things. So J frame equals new J frame parentheses and semicolon to end it as we do with all statements and let's go ahead and set our title so we can have a title of our GUI so let's do the GUI dot set title I'm going to set the title to um, GUI GUI with color alright so we just set our GUI and we called it we just set our title and we set the title for our interface um, GUI with color alright next line and let's go ahead and set the size of our program and we actually want to make our the size a little bit bigger than we did in the last tutorial um, last tutorial was just to give you a basic for how to actually get a GUI up but this time we actually want to have our we want to actually have the, the program to actually be big enough to where we can see the color good so let's do GUI set and come on, set yeah, sometimes it does this when it tries to look up what you're trying to write. Um, so set size, and let's go ahead and set our size 400 by 200. All right. So we just set our size. Um, the GUI for our size is going to be 400 by 200. And the next thing we need to do is we actually need to um, let's go ahead and set the the close operator. The close operator is when you exit out of the program or hit the close operator it tells it what to do when you mash it. So let's do the GUI dot set default close operation 
and we're going to set this to um, J frame dot exit on close. Well, not exactly what I wanted. Uh, J frame and exit exit on close. All right, there we go. So we just assigned the exit or the default operation for the close. We just decide the J frame to exit when it's supposed to close or when we match the close operator. So um, now the next one you do is because we want to have a background, we need to um, actually have our J panel, which is actually a, which is a panel. A panel is basically a container inside of a GUI that holds an object or a color or whatever you have it. So um, basically the, the J panel actually comes from the class art or AWT. So let's go ahead and comment. Let's put for color and container. Wait, let's do for color, container, and panel. Color and panel. All right. So um, let's go ahead and do J panel. I'm going to call this just panel. We need to instantiate what our J panel is in our program. So let's do J panel. Um, panel equals new j panel and parentheses and end it all right so we just we just assigned the j panel to the name panel in our program so we can actually make it easier so it can be, it can recognize the panel as a specific uh, panel that we called and that it's, it's its own panel because if we just called one through the program and did J panel this J panel that it's not going to realize that we maybe want two J panels or maybe we want three J panels it's going to just have one so that's why we need to do that so the next thing um, we need to let's go ahead and set the background this is the main meat of the program so let's do panel dot set and we'll do set background right there and let's set it to the color huh let's set it to the IT ranger's favorite color which is going to be blue so now we set we just set our background of our panel which is which is a container inside the GUI or a box inside the GUI we set it to blue so let's set panel or container to blue which is basically our background. So the panel is basically our background for our GUI. Um, so let's go ahead and the next thing we need to do is we need to we need to tell the GUI to get the pane or get the panel that we need. And because if we don't actually tell the GUI to actually display it, how does it know that we wanted to display it inside the GUI, right? So let's do container pane equals um, equals the GUI dot and we're going to do get content pane and basically what the get content pane does it returns um, it returns the color blue into the GUI so we're going to get content and pane all right there we go so we just did that and we need to actually tell the um, we need to tell the pane the paint we need to tell the pane inside the GUI to actually get the panel, which is the panel, which is the J panel, we need to tell it to get the panel to display it inside the GUI. So let's do pane dot add, and we're gonna do add. As you see here, our area is instantiated panel, panel, and let's end that. There we go. So we just did. We just um, added. We just told the pane which is and now in the GUI to go and add the panel which is right here which we instantiated right here so now it's going to actually have the color blue which is with the panel into the background so let's do add the panel to the pane inside the GUI alright and this adds the container slash panel slash pane to the GUI. All right, and last but not least, we need to set the visibility to true so we can actually be able to see the to see the 
the program or the GUI. So let's do the GUI dot set visible, and we need to set this to true. All right, there we go. So what we just did is we just um, wrote the skeleton or the code to actually display a blue background with the in, inside of a GUI. So let's go ahead and run it. Voila, there we have it. So as you see here, we just made um, a background. Um, we just made a GUI with color, and we actually made the background to blue. All right, so there we go, everybody. Um, this is our fifth tutorial, and we just learned how to do a GUI with color. And this is the IT Ranger, and don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments if you feel like it. I mean, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be free, feel free. I'll, I'll be glad to answer them, all right? And... Alright guys, I'll catch you next time, alright?